hello and welcome to my channel today i am going to share with you uh, some open cv cv functions to draw different geometric shapes the function that i am going to show you is the line function circle rectangle ellipse and how to write down text when we uh, draw those uh, shapes we are using python to implement our methods so stay tuned i am using sublime text to write down the python code uh, it is a text editor and moreover it is very lightweight so i think it is best way to use sublime text and so uh, I need to compile my program using command prompt so for that reason I need to type cmd in my search bar so I have already installed uh, python in my computer so if I want to see the version of the Python, uh, I can write down Python here, uh, which will show me the version of Python. As you can see, I installed Python 3.9.3 and it is very easy to install Python in your machine. So for that uh, uh, you need to type uh, python in your google search bar uh, so this is the official website of python where you can download python so it uh, you can also see there are lots of versions of python uh, if you click on download python it will uh, go to the python website where you can get options for downloading uh, for windows linux uh, mac OX. so for me i chose um, windows and uh, not only that i need to install uh, uh open cv and numpy for uh, my for for my uh, code so this is also very uh, easy to install once you install uh, python uh, you can uh, install it using pip install command so i write down here pip install numpy python 3 uh, you can get a uh, instruction how to install uh, python and numpy from that installation guide so uh, there are a lot lots of different ways to install python like uh, if you want to install uh, uh, using conda or you can install using pip so pip install numpy so uh, you just need to copy this command and uh, type it in your command prompt uh, this is the python editor so i first i need to exit from here now you can write here uh, copy it here like pip install numpy and if you enter uh, uh, it will take some time to install uh, numpy so uh, as i have already installed numpy so that i got this message that requirement already satisfied 
but if you are uh, a first time user of numpy probably you will find some downloading option downloading files uh, from internet and uh, after that it uh, will install in your computer at first i need to import two libraries for my code my programming i need to install numpy and uh, uh, open cv so import numpy as np so np is the alias name of numpy and then i write down import cv2 so this is the library of open cv now i have to save it so for that I need to click on the file option and save as option so now we are going to save our file so click on the save as so this is my open cv directory where I named the image as shape.py and save it you can see that uh, the color of import and as uh, is changed as red so this is a very important function of sublime text it will help uh, to distinguish between the keyword functions variables so i personally recommend sublime text as your editor now we are going to create a blank image black or blank image so for that i need to write down a variable name that is image after that np dot zeros So here you can see that I am creating a matrix of number which is nothing but a 512 by 512 uh, matrix. Uh, I am creating a matrix of numbers zeros because our image is nothing but a matrices of number and you can also see that I am not only creating a 512 by 512 zero matrix i am also using three so this three is nothing but the channel uh, the uh, um, image i am going to create is a colored image and the colored image ha uh, has three channels they are blue green and red and I here I also want to uh, let you know that Python um, uh, follow BGR color system that is blue, green and red. Whereas uh, in other uh, types of software uh, use softwares use 
आर जी बी कलर सिस्ट है दैट इज रेड ग्रीन एंड ब्लू नाउ आई वॉन्ट टू डिसप्ले माई इमेज एंड यू कैन ऑल्सो सी दैट आई एम राइटिंग एन पी डॉट यू आई एन टी एट सो दैट मीन्स वी ऑल नो दैट द कलर रेंज इज वेरिड फ्रॉम जीरो टू टू फिफ्टी फाइव सो वेन वी ट्राई टू फिल अप द थर्ड चैनल विथ any number from 0 to 255 they are nothing but the integer number uh, but by default numpy array uh, takes floating type number so i here i want to convert those floating type numbers in integer numbers that's why i write wrote there np dot u i n t eight so next i am writing c v two dot i am show then within quote the image name which is blank image and then the variable name i m g and then i write down cv2 dot wet key equal to within bracket 0 so here i am using two functions from our open civil library that is i am show and wet key i am show helps us to display our image we can see that image for a few seconds if we are not using uh, cv2.wet key if we write down cv2.wet key within bracket 0 we can see our image um, for ever uh, when we close the image window only that uh, time the image will close so let's see what happened first i save the program okay so now i want to open my comment prompt and i need to go to my folder where i save the files cd dot cd uh, space open cv then cd space first project mm so now i run this file python shape dot py which is nothing but the extension of the file uh okay so this is our blank image fine we cleared the screen using cls so now let's create uh, a line in our blank image uh, which has 2 pixel uh, of width thickness and the color of the line uh, will be let's say red so our uh, comment comment will be cv2 dot line now the name of the image is img so img comma now we want to declare the starting point of our line which is nothing but the 0 0 and the ending point of our line which is nothing but 100 comma 100 and now we want to create a line which is red in color so as i said before that uh, python maintain the color code bgr that is blue green red so first channel will be blue 
second channel will be green and the third channel will be red so for that reason first i input here zero for the blue because i do not need a blue line then i again input zero because i do not need a green line then i input 255 which is the highest range in our color color plate then we want to create a line uh, whose thickness is 3 so I write down here 3 so this is the line function which will create a line in our blank image uh, let's uh, let's change the name of the image as red line now we will see what happened so first I save it see uh, uh, our code created a red line which is start from 0 0 coordinate and end in 100 uh, 100 coordinate now I am going to create a diagonal of the image so here we I can use two methods to draw the diagonal of an image first method will be cv2 dot line because diagonal nothing but a, a large line connecting one corner with another corner so image comma uh, so the starting point should be zero zero and the ending point should be five hundred eleven comma five hundred eleven this is because our matrix is a 512 by 512 matrix and we know that python starts indexing from zero so if uh, we uh, go from one one corner to another corner then the last corner should be 511 as the indexing starting from zero now uh, let's see we will go for a blue line sorry 255 comma 0 comma 0 and let's see we will go for a thickness of 2 okay see what happened next what will happen so this is the new name of our image So uh, can you see there is two line one is the red line which is starting from 0 and ending in 100 another one is blue line which is nothing but the diagonal and it is starting from 0 and ending in 511. So the second method of creating a diagonal. So the second method will be cv2 dot line 
image so in the second method uh, the starting point will be the same so it is zero zero but we will see the change in our ending point that is image dot shape uh, within third bracket one and then uh, image dot shape so this is new for us so what is image dot shape so that is nothing but the size of the image image dot shape will return the width of the image whereas image dot shape zero uh, will return the height of the image so uh, now let's draw the line in green color and now for better visualization and uh, the thickness of the line say one and I add here two lines for your better understanding what is image dot shape one written and what is image dot shape zero return so i write down print image dot shape zero and in the next line i write down print image dot shape one we will see that they return the height and the width of the image so let's run it after saving it uh, I will change the name of the image that is second method save again So, uh, it's difficult to find out uh, the green line uh, because a green line is very thin. So, okay, we will try again. And see, as I said before that image dot shape return the width and image dot shape one return the height so we got 512 and 512 so uh, for better visualization let's make it five see what happened yeah it looks better although it covers other two lines but it is clear to you that uh, the last line uh, was created by uh, this line Now I'm going to create a rectangle using OpenCV. First I comment out these two lines. And now I draw a rectangle. Command will be cv2.rectangle. And the 
other comment is almost same as the previous one we will take the, our image then we will define the uh, starting point 384,0 then we will define the ending point that is 510,128 um, let's do some research with our color pla plate uh, so maybe it's 165 um, what about 120 and um, what about 180 I don't know what the color for 165 120 and 180 but let's see uh, change the name as rectangle save it and the last step will be run our program okay nice color what do you think so this is our rectangle with light purple color I think now it's time to draw a circle so drawing a circle is more or less same drawing a rectangle but we need here we need our center coordinates and the radius of the circle so let's see we write down cv2 dot circle and then we write down the name of the image then we go for the coordinate center and then we go for the radius of the circle then here so can we do the experiment for the second time i don't think uh, there is a harm for doing the research again with our color mm. so what next do I go for 205 for blue channel and maybe uh, I, I will go for a very lower number for the green channel and what about the red uh, I think um, it's not bad idea to write down 105 for the red channel um, our circle will be something like a bluish circle i think and now i go for the radius of the circle let's uh, so sorry i am going for the um the thickness of the circle and that is uh, I will change the name of our image circle save it and so run it oh name error oh i'm so sorry it should be cv2 not cv okay okay let's see okay how nice see the circle is in the middle of the rectangle it's look amazing 
next i i am going to show you how to draw ellipse using open cv uh, first i want to uh, let you know that uh, ellipse takes several arguments so first i write down uh, the uh, code then i e will explain it so cv2 sorry cv2 dot ellipse Uh, so as you can see that ellipse takes several arguments first uh, you know what is img then 256 two comma 256 uh, this is the center of the ellipse then we get uh, 100 comma 50 so 100 defines major axis length of the ellipse and 50 defines minor axis length of the ellipse 0 is the angle of the ellipse uh, where 0 this 0 is the start angle of the ellipse and 180 is the end angle of the ellipse 255 is the color code and 1 is the thickness of the ellipse so as you can see that here the start angle is less than the end angle but if uh, opposite is true that means start angle is greater than the end angle then they are swapped uh, now we draw the ellipse uh, we change the name of our picture and last we will run it after saving it so let's see what will happen so see we are able to draw ellipse but uh, we cannot see the whole ellipse here due to its uh, measurement uh, so you can play with those measurements to see the whole ellipse. Uh, I will try one change here, then save it. Let's see what happen. What will happen? So now uh, the ellipse uh, is filled, but again we need to play with the parameters of the ellipse so that we can get a whole ellipse now we are going to draw the polygon with four vertices uh, so uh, i would say that drawing a polygon is little bit tough than drawing any other shapes like rectangle circle or ellipse but we will see uh, how to draw polygon right away. Uh, first, I declared the uh, array. Uh, and the name of the array is points. NumPy arrays. So those points are the coordinates of vertices 
uh, I mentioned that I am going to draw a polygon with four vertices. So, I define here four set of points. Next line will be point equal to points dot reshape. And now we are going to draw the polygon that is CV2 dot polylines. Let's see what will happen. So we draw a polygon here uh, that is right here. Um, now a small test that is if we uh, make this third argument as false what will happen let's see so see uh, the polygon is here but they are not the points are not connected the lines are not connected here so uh, if the third argument is false we we will get a polyline joining all the points not closed shape so uh, you can see that in that polygon it join all the points and draw the lines but it is not in a closed shape so for that reason we need to make the third argument as true the last uh, command of this lecture is uh, put text on our image so I write down uh, the comment so this is cv2 dot put text image name uh, draw shapes this is our text that we want to write down within our image and this is the coordinate where we write down that text now this is the front font uh, we uh, for our uh, uh, for our uh, sentence and this is the color and this is the width so there are lots of fonts available in OpenCV for that we need to search on the web uh, I got it and I uh, found that this font is very um, efficient and uh, it's something different so I write it here uh, now I run this code you can see uh, it, it was written over there that is draw shapes in blue uh, line so that's all for today hope to see you again in my next lecture till then bye